Hello, it's me, Andrea, with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas, and I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, I got plant mail from a friend who's never sent plant mail to anyone before. Um, her name's Kathy out of North Carolina, and she sent me some really amazing stuff, and I've already um, opened it all up and potted it up, and I'm going to show you what all I did with it. But first, I wanted to take a second to tell you something really, really um, important and exciting to me. See that? That's my book, The Succulent Manual, a guide to care and repair for all climates, and it's now available as an ebook um, on Amazon, uh, Apple, Barnes & Nobles, a few other places. I'm going to put the link in the video description so you can see where all you can download it from. Um, and we'll just have a little sneak peek in there. So basically, my favorite part about it, I think that's going to be the most useful, is the way that the chapters are organized into different sections. Um, whether you're looking at the basic tips, how to propagate, sorry about that, make more sucks. Um, we've got different um, the succulent SOS where you look at the different symptoms in your plants and then you can find the different actions that you can take to try and make the repairs for say pest, etiolation, root rot, um, all kinds of stuff, different kinds of pests, lots of pests. Um, and I really think it's going to help you. Um, it's definitely going to pay for itself in the amount of plants you save. And um, it's, a, it's a good deal. Um, it's most of my knowledge. Of course, I'm still learning. But um, pretty much everything I've learned along the way with you guys from the questions that you've been asking me um, based on your climate and just, you know, different situations, um, all in one little, you know, handy dandy file on your phone or your whatever your favorite reading device is so um, again link is going to be in the video description and I would really really be happy if you guys left reviews wherever you download it from just to, uh, let people know that it's helpful and um, if you have any questions about it you're welcome to reach out to me however you want um, but yeah I'm really I'm really excited about it and um, it's gotten some good reviews so far and uh, I just you know thank everyone for their support um, so moving on, um, we're about to see the unboxing video, and it was laundry day, so forgive me about that. It was also raining really bad, um, but sun's back out, it's nice, and I got a clean shirt. <laughs> well, my other shirt was clean. Anyways, okay. Plant mail from Kathy. I'm so excited. I'm about to open it. If the box is wet because it just started raining, pouring down. Poor mailman was <laughs> soaking wet. On. Everything's gonna be fine. And I'm so excited. Because I'm in here. Oh yeah. Alright. Let me in. with me in the queen of the night. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's oh okay. Kathy. Wow. This is gonna take a minute, y'all. I didn't I wasn't expecting all of this. <laughs> Look. We have this is going to be like a cutting from a, a epiphytic cactus of jungle. I guess that's the queen of the night. And these are... Oh, she, look. She sent me to her some beefsteak begonia cuttings. Look. We were joking saying those, these are the Louboutins of plants. Just like red on the bottom. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. Okay. Oh, it's going to be so fun. Who is this? I don't know yet. Hold on. Beefsteak begonia. Not the real name, but that's what she said. Uh, um, I know this guy, and I forgot, and I'm so excited. It's so pretty. Not a succulent, but man, I ain't married to succulents. I love all plants. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, what do you have? Oh, some propagation leaves from the grafted area. Yes, I need more. Oh, these look good. Everything looks good, okay? Everything looks happy. Like it was taken care of. 
in the box on the way here and you did a really good job packing them. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't, I'm so excited about the begonias. Oh, oh, there's another one. What is this? Cactus seed mix. Oh, this, I was, she told me she was sending me two plants that were on my wish list. And there's so much more. Oh my God. Kathy. These are cuttings from her mom's, um, uh, yeah, mom's 20 year old um, little rat tail cactus. You know, you did an amazing job packing this. Uh, what were you trying to tell me you didn't do very well? Oh my god, what is this one? There's some dirt. Conancho, Cinsabrella, there's a wanted one. You didn't take the baby. I told you to take the baby. I'm going to make grow it and send it back to you. Thank you. Oh, the little edges on here are just so fine. And it's going to be so happy here. I know it. I know it. I know it. And I'm going to take such good care of it. I promise. Oh. There's something in here. There's tape on it, maybe. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. What the heck? Oh, it's so cute. Oh no. It's a little aloe blizzard. Look at that. Look at the colors. Wait. Look at this. It's really dark out and raining. But if you saw this in person, just the detail. It's blurry. It looks like, I don't know, like something computer generated. It's really, really, really cool. Thank you, Kathy. So sweet. Look at this one. Wait. Something about needing gloves. Stop. Grab some gloves. Oh. Wait, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be real careful. She's so fun. Coco sucks, anybody? If you throw this away, I won't be mad. <laughs> Because of the spikes on it. Let's see. Look at the chalk. This is so cute. Okay. Hold on. I'll be careful. I know I'll still get... I'm going to get poked anyways. I always think I'm going to get away with it this time. I never... Oh! And there's the fruits. These are... Um, oh, we came up... We found the name. What was it? It's in a... Uh, a puncha and it actually grows outside in her uh, North Carolina yard. And even though it freezes sometimes, it comes back and um, blooms yellow flowers. I'm really excited about this. And I believe you, the glow kids are punks. And I'm just gonna leave it in the cup for now. And there's one more. Mm -hmm. She says sorry, she sucks at packing. Look at this packing job. She made a box to go around the pot. Cut tape on the side. That's fun. Uh. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Do you see that? Look at his little fat, 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 adenium, obesum. This is a desert rose. I don't so fat and cute. Oh my gosh, and look, it's got little fat babies on it. And I'm so excited. This is so much fun. Oh, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> oh yeah, can you see those hairs on the cut? Right there. Oh. Jeez, look at the stems. Even the stems are fancy. They look like confetti and fonts. Huh? Or like lily pads. Oh. Oh, I can't wait. Yes. <laughs> oh, Kathy. Thank you so much.
So they're just super, 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 super kind and supportive and poking it down with the suckies. I was really not expecting this. Thank you. Now, I'm gonna go put these in some water, I think. Definitely put that in some water. Put those in a pot so they'll start rooting and stare at these for a really, really long time. We did such a good job packing them, really. Everything is perfect. Everything looks great. I'm scared of you, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat one of those. I will. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, these are gonna be so fun. So fun. <laughs> so sweet. I can't stop looking at them. Love you. Okay, gonna go play with them now. Bye. So two of these plants are the cuttings that she gave me. This is the beefsteak begonia and a Dracaena lemon lime. And um, I'll put the, the names and the scientific names in the video description. Um, and this is a cutting of a pothos marble queen that a friend of mine had. And this is just an old tequila bottle. Um, that I saved and the pothos is the one that's got all the roots going on. I just put it in there to kind of help lift up the others um, above the water level a little bit more. And once those get roots I'll pot them up in some um, you know more organic soil than I would for succulents but it's still going to be fast draining and I am so excited about these guys. They are, let me show you one more time. If you look at them this way they're green and you turn them over and they're red and then they have these amazing little markings. Looks like Funfetti or something. I really love it. It reminds me of the the gum that used to have the little cinnamon crystals in it. Um, I know some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, and of course we have my prize. I've wanted one of these for so long and I finally got one and then I lost it in our freeze last year. Um, I'm just still kicking my butt about it, and it, you know, some of the leaves are a little bit banged up, but it, I really don't even, I don't even notice the imperfections, because I'm so excited to finally have one again, and it's got the baby on the side, and it's potted up in a, um, this pre-World War II Belgian clay pot, you can see like the European style pots didn't have a, a rim, and um, I got some of these from a local nursery, and of course you always take a few and wish you went back and got more and I did and I still wish I had more um, they're really cheap considering the history and I love them um, this is the aloe blizzard and I put it in a little terracotta pot there's dirt and then um, topped it you know fast draining dirt and then topped with some pumice to really like make that plant pop okay and we have the adenium obesum and a nice um, a cute little orange pot and I really, really love this little guy so much. Again, topped with pumice to just, you know, I love the contrast. Look how nice and pro that looks. Um, these guys, I'm literally just going to stick them in another pot somewhere with another plant until they start getting roots. But I did want to leave them out for, you know, a few days to make sure the ends are dry. And... Of course we have the pads. I haven't done anything with those yet um, except for rinse them really well and I sprayed the, the aerials um, with a kind of a high powered hose to free some of the uh, glow kids on there because they, they are really annoying um, but it's a beautiful plant so um, and then I'm going to start these seeds soon. I've just been kind of busy with a bunch of other stuff but I'm thinking about them. Um, of course we have the tuna fruit I said I was going to eat and we are going to cut that open in a second and see if it's edible at this time. There's seeds in there so um, something's going to be in there. And this, this is my favorite. This is the, um, well, my, I don't know if it's my favorite, I'll tell you why. Um, this is the, uh, it's a rat tail cactus and her mom, um, Kathy's mom, 
she has a plant of her mom's that's amazing and it's over 20 years old and she was so sweet to send me some of these cuttings and so um, I just okay, I'll just show you really quick you just make sure you have the right end um, you can kind of tell let's see. so this end is a little pointier and this end was a little bit greener and I lined them all up made sure I had them facing the right direction and then I just, um, just put them in. This is uh, expanded shale. Actually, I use a little poker, but I'm doing it with uh, one hand, so it's a bit harder. Um, this is just some dirt. They do like a little bit more organic uh, material because, um, you know, they're more tropical uh, cactus, which is awesome um, for my c climate in Houston. So, um, but I did want to give them a chance just to like put on some roots before I, uh, they'll probably be repotted with a mix that has more organic material. So there's dirt in here, and you're looking at expanded shale on top. Um, and that's really, it's porous, and it's going to help these guys dry out and encourage them to put on more roots. Alright, and that brings us to this guy. We're going to chop that open and see what it looks like inside. It's a tuna fruit from an Apuncha. It is edible when they're fully ripe. I don't think that one's fully ripe, but whatever, right? Let's see what's in there. And that's a map of Germany cutboard, cutting board my friend bought me a long time ago. Jessica. I love things from friends. They make them even more special. Okay, ready? We're going to cut it long ways. Okay, and tuna fruit is really seedy. Um, they make a juice out of some of the varieties and it's really delicious and especially in uh, <laughs> like margaritas. Um, and okay, gonna give it the taste. Mm. Mm. It's really good. Mm. I wasn't expecting it to actually have this much flavor. Um, but the seeds are, I mean, they're like inedible, sorry. <laughs> um, can we see something? I just, there. So they're like that big, but I can plant them and they will make no cactus. Isn't that fun? So I sent her some aloes from my mom's um, really old plant. And I think it's really amazing to have some of her mom's really old uh, rat tail cactus. And, um, Again, I just stuck the little cuttings down in there. The shale is heavier than uh, just regular dirt, so it doesn't need to be wet. Um, the, the, the shale will help hold everything in place until they root better. Um, and just, you know, I'm always encouraging people to try and send each other plant mail. Just pick a friend and say, I'm going to send you something. Um, if you want to see how it's done, um, maybe, you know, order something from a local seller online. Um, I have links to some uh, places. Where do I have those links? Well, I'll put them in the video description below of, of a place that I've ordered from that does, you know, packs everything really well. But uh, again, this was her first time and she did amazing. And um, just use your imagination, pick a box. Um, you want to leave some space. You want to pad the bottom and pad the top and sides a little bit with some extra paper. paper. Um, but just have fun with it and um, you know watch out for the temperatures if you're sending it somewhere once it, if it's freezing outside or really hot um, you kind of want to this is this is a good time of year to, to uh, send and receive plant mail so um, just give it a try I promise you it, it, it's so much fun making a box for someone um, that it's almost as fun as getting it yourself all right guys thanks for watching